Greetings, everybody. I am Lobo. Welcome to episode 37 of my Minecraft survival series. In last episode, episode 36, we worked on the tree farm here, the exterior of it. And I think that actually turned out pretty cool. I am liking it. At the end of the episode, we talked about like how we have our stack of logs outside, how we want to either import or export them from the docks. And I think we're going to work on that today just to add a little bit more life to this area. We'll work on our docks a little bit. Uh, but before we do that, there is something I wanted to show you. Um, why did I wait so long to start recording? It's already getting dark out. All right, well, let's hurry. Uh, so there is something I wanted to show you, and it's going to be right down this way. Let's go ahead and hop down here just so I can give you all a better look. All right, so as you can see, we are still having villagers come into this area. They are, I believe, like phasing through our uh, log fence here. Like, I think what's happening is that they're coming to this corner. And they're phasing through and I'm not sure if it's happening like when I log out or how exactly it's happening but it is happening and we're getting somewhat of a population down here and we're not supposed to the only guy that's supposed to be down here is mr. donkey this is mr. donkey's house and you'll notice doors are closed but if we open them these villagers are harassing mr. donkey they've entered his house they have chased him onto his haystack get out of here this is Mr. Donkey's house, not yours. I am sorry, Mr. Donkey. We will handle these guys, I promise. You guys need to get... Are you serious right now? Wow. We're going to have to do something about those guys. Chad, if they come in here, if those guys from outside come in here, do not serve them. They are not welcome in this establishment. <laughs> anyway, um, let's go ahead and get on to what we are going to be doing today, which is going to be out here in our dock area or what will become our dock area. Uh, the first thing we need to do, though, before we actually start getting the docks in, the first thing we need to do is get the back of this wallet because right now it's only half a wall. So I think we're going to go ahead and do that. And as far as the area that we're going to be working in today, I think what we're going to do is we're probably going to extend the wall to maybe right about there, right about that corner right there, because that's where kind of there's going to be a juncture where it goes straight, but it also takes off a little bit as well. And I think I just picked up a carrot. I am pretty sure. Yeah. I did pick up a carrot, but yeah, we'll come into these corners right here. And I think that's about as far as we're going to go today because there's a zombie that's uh, impeding our uh, ability to go any further. No. Um, so it's the, it's going to be a big wall. It's going to go around the entire bay here. Uh, so we're not going to do all that today, but we're just going to do this one little section. I think we're going to go ahead and put on some music and take care of that before we start on our docks. So I will see you guys in just a few minutes. These carrots are going to be here, by the way. We're getting rid of these.
Welcome back, everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed that. So we have this section of wall in place that kind of divides the business district from the residential district right up there to the end of the business district is where we stopped. And uh, I did some bonus stuff as well. So we have this fountain in place, which matches the three other fountains we have uh, over here and over there at our city entrance. And those are where we're going to have our beacons located uh, each 50 blocks diagonally away from the center uh, to where they cover this entire area and outward. So we have beacon power all over the place. Now, of course, that means we're going to have to go out and get more beacons eventually, but that's not what we're working on today. Anyway, um, during the building that during that last scene in particular, the last shot I had, uh, you can see just how asymmetrical and imperfect the walls are. And I told you guys that when I was constructing them, like when I was doing the outline of the circle, I wasn't going to make them perfect because when you see a perfect surface and I'm just going to do this as an example real quick, just, just to give you my thought process, because you know, this, this is just how I like to do things. It doesn't mean it's right. It doesn't mean it's wrong. Well, it could be wrong. I could be doing things wrong. I don't know. But when you have a perfect surface, it looks less interesting than if you've got some variation here, like texture variation, that's all fine. But you know, we could also do stuff like this and actually change it up and just make it a little different. So that way you're not seeing the same thing from every point in the city, you know? So, well, that, that kind of didn't really demonstrate the point with that block. Let's go ahead and uh, put this in here. And you see, I, I think personally that looks more interesting than that. Uh, your opinion may differ and that's fine. Uh, but this is just kind of how I like to do things. And now that I'm done trying to justify my laziness, <laughs> we'll go ahead and get rid of these. And we need to actually start working on our project for today, which is going to be the docks. So let's go ahead and get these out of the way. And then we'll pick the block that we're going to use to make our docks, which is going to be spruce wood slabs. Uh, that's what the majority of this is going to be built of. And like, I'm not sure exactly what shape we're going to have. Like, I know we want to go past this. We need it to go and let us board our ship on the left side. I believe left is port, right? That's where you're supposed to board. I could be wrong on that as well. I'm not a sailor. I don't know, but I think that's right. That's what I think I may have heard somewhere at some point in time. So I'm going to go ahead and try to rough out kind of this first little dock area and I'll be back with you guys in just a minute. All right. So I'm getting this first little section in place right here. And, uh, I was actually correct. Port is left. Uh, starboard is right. And there's a reason for that. So we'll board on the left side of our ship here, the port side of our ship. Uh, the reason why that's where you board is because older ships, I looked this up, older ships were actually steered from the, the rear, right, the rear starboard side of the ship. Uh, so stern starboard stern side. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, which meant that you docked on the left side. That was your port side, hence port. So yeah, that's correct. Um, right now, I'm, just, I'm still working on the shape, but I just thought I'd come back and give you guys a little update. Uh, so I'm gonna get a little bit more of this done. I think we're gonna have multiple levels too. Like for smaller ships, we'll probably go down a little bit and out, and then we can like perhaps make smaller ships over there later. I don't know, but right now I do kind of want to get that in place. So I'm gonna work on a little bit more stuff in here and I'll be back with you guys in just a few. Now, on top of having multiple levels, something else I think would look interesting is if we went off in different directions as well. So we could also do, instead of like just the straight docks, we could have our diagonal docks as well. So that kind of gets rid of that grid-like pattern. It makes it look a little bit more interesting when we're coming off at different angles. Uh, so I think that could be kind of cool. It might not be super effective for, you know, boarding and like parking, parking? Docking, docking your ships. Uh, but I think, uh, you know, it, it'll definitely look a little bit more interesting and we could probably like round off these corners like this. So we'll get maybe one in here and then, um, no, no, that's like too, too many. So let's go ahead and get rid of these ones and just do something like that. You know, I want to have this kind of, you know, a little bit more fun because I would get bored building this if they were all completely straight like this one. So now that we have our two taller docks kind of roughed out a little bit, I think we can go ahead and start planning where we're going to put the lower elevation ones, the shorter docks for the smaller vessels. Uh, typical. <laughs> All right. Well, let's come out a little bit more before we start planning this because I want to get a little bit higher. And I also want to stay centered. That's why I wanted to come out just like that in front of uh, in front of the little lamp there. Um, so as I was saying, we have our two taller docks in place now and they come out at kind of an odd angle off this center circle. Um, so, you know, we got to kind of figure out how we're going to place everything else. That's why I want to get a view from up high, uh, before we start putting in our lower elevation docks for our villagers, personal watercraft. Like I know Phyllis right there. You see Phyllis over there in the distance. I know she really likes to jet ski. So, um, we're going to build a little dock for her and that's going to be closer to the water. Um, so I think what we might want to do is maybe just like hug the, hug the edge of the land here 
and maybe we can just come off actually you know what we'll just come off like the edges of the circle like we'll have it kind of bow out like like that like a 90 degree type thing and maybe then go diagonally from there like probably at about where that island is actually that peninsula probably over there is where we'll have it like kind of go diagonal again and we'll do the same thing kind of over here i don't know i'm gonna i'm gonna think about that for a few minutes and we'll see we'll see (laughs) now while i'm thinking about that i still want to be productive so i'm kind of thinking what blocks are we going to use for our supports and for the outline um so what i want to see real quick let me grab some of this what i want to see is what is darker the spruce or the dark oak so it looks like the spruce is actually more saturated looking than the dark oak uh so we could use these for our supports a combination of them like we could have the uh the spruce on the bottom and that kind of looks wetter than the dark oak up here we can have the dark oak be our main outline block and the spruce is just like it looks like the tide's gone out so we could have that just above the water line and i think that might actually look kind of cool so what i'm going to need to do then is go ahead and manually chop down some dark oak because it's not like the spruce where we have a farm where we just get all this stuff for free uh so let me go ahead and take care of this and i will meet you back at the docks So I'm getting the outline in and I'm realizing on the corner specifically, like you can see the innards of the logs and I am not too crazy about that. I wish the bark blocks were out. I know that's with the new update, which has not come out yet, unfortunately. Uh, But I think, you know, we might actually just end up leaving. Um, there's a ghast in the overworld. (laughs) Um, where did you come from? Oh, come on. Don't. Hmm. All right, I don't know who that was. I didn't see the name tag when we uh, got down there. Uh, that is either Sawyer the Fifth, who should be at our tree farm, or it's Sawyer the Sixth, who should be in our lab underneath the tree farm. Um, they are, both should be in mine carts, though, so I don't know how they actually escaped. Let's see who it was. All right, so Sawyer the Fifth is right there. Um, so let's... Hi. Did you see a guest pass by here? <laughs> All right, so it must be Sawyer the Sixth then, who was supposed to... No, he's right here. Oh my gosh, guys. That was Sawyer the Fourth. We finally found out what happened to Sawyer the Fourth, the one that escaped. That, excuse me, I'm trying to get out of here. The one that escaped... Come on, dude. <laughs> get out. All right, so Sawyer the Fourth escaped. That was the whole reason why we made the, the lab down there to get more gas because we had one that actually escaped from there before. Oh, man. At least now we know what happened to him. That's craziness. So once again, I have vastly underestimated the amount of resources needed to complete a project. We ran out of dark oak, but that is fine because we have an entire dark oak forest right here that we've been kind of chipping away at for a while now. Uh, But we do need to clear this whole area out eventually. So I'm going to go ahead and chip away at it a little bit more and (laughs) hopefully we can get some stuff done. So many distractions lately. Wow. Oh, it just never ends. (laughs) So I'm thinking it's probably going to be a good idea for us to get some lighting in here if we're going to be working at night. I, the, the, I still haven't gotten what I want to get done done like out this. Uh. Anyway, we need to add some lighting in here. So I'm thinking we probably have it hidden. Uh, so I'll take out little bits of the floor here and put glowstone in there probably. And then what we could probably do is kind of line this area with hedges and kind of have the uh, the glowstone hidden. Like we're still going to be working on the fountain. Like this isn't the final shape of the fountain. But the fountain's not really the project I'm focused on, so we'll get to that a little bit later. So it's it's seeming like a good idea to... Can I, can I have that back, please? <laughs> oh man, how do I get that back? I think we just have to... Okay. Now, it's seeming like a good idea to me to break out the old Frostwalker boots, since we're going to be doing some work under our dock as well. I am so flustered right now. There's so much happening that is not conducive to good progress in... Oh my gosh. (laughs) Now, the reason why I wanted to get the Frostwalker boots is because we're going to be stepping this down a little bit and it's going to be a lot easier to do that if we can just stand on top of the water like this. Uh, So I think we're going to keep it about four wide and we're going to do a combination of lower slabs and stairs uh, just to keep everything non-spawnable. Like I want this entire dock to be non-spawnable because we don't need anything coming up into our city and also I probably want to keep it that far off the water as well uh, just to make sure no mobs that get into the water are going to be able to get out and into our city Uh, you know these are all things we have to consider when building this so yeah I'm going to go ahead and work on this a little bit more and I'll be back with you guys in just a few 
Oh, so I remembered that I was talking about the forthcoming Bark Blocks when uh, Sawyer the Fourth attacked us earlier, and I don't think I ever finished that thought. So I think what I was going to say was we're going to actually stick with these because I do the the variation in the the look of the logs is actually kind of growing on me and it's you know like i say more interesting than just having the same thing repeated which is what it would be if we had the uh, bark blocks so i think down here what we can do is we can sink all the way down to the bottom and get our supports in and we can kind of see how that's going to look did anybody else just hear a zombie underwater <laughs> he must be in a cave somewhere okay so we're going to use spruce going all the way up here which is convenient because we're going to be going through a lot of it and we do have plenty of spruce from our farm uh, so that's no big deal what we're going to run out of most likely is going to be the dark oak if we run out of anything so i'll probably bring these maybe two above the water then we'll switch to the dark oak and bring that all the way up to the top and that should simulate the tide that's gone out theoretically so let's have a look at it from a distance see if we can actually tell what it's supposed to be so yeah yeah, I think that could work. I think that could absolutely work. You know, it, it's just a more saturated, wetter looking wood than the dark oak up there. So yeah, I think that's going to be good. And this is now we have a general idea of what we're going to be doing for the whole dock. So I think what we can go ahead and do in the interest of making progress right now is go ahead and put on some music and knock out the rest of this thing. <laughs> Right now, I'm just wrapping up the underneath the dock area, trying to get a little bit of foliage in here. Um, so we'll put that right there and we have one left and I guess we'll just throw that in here somewhere. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. All right. But yeah, I just wanted to handle that because even though you're not going to be able to see this from most angles, there are going to be some angles that you can't actually see underneath the dock from. So I wanted to take care of that. Also, this uh, little pillar right here, we might have that go down to where we actually have our beacon pyramid underneath, like it's going to be underneath the fountain right there. Uh, so yeah, I just want to take care of that. Also, we have all our supports in here uh, with our spruce and our dark oak to simulate the tide. And if we go down here, you can see that the spruce goes all the way down to the bottom. And that's just to make sure, I, again, not really necessary, but I just want to make sure, like if we ever do build anything underwater, it's going to look 
you know, right. We're not just going to have floating supports because that makes no sense. Right. So <laughs> I guess now we can go ahead and have a peek at everything else. Um, and it is occurring to me as I'm walking away from this that the ice underneath our main dock area is probably not going to melt because there's no light sources nearby. Uh, but that's fine. We can just pretend it's winter time in the game, even though it's summer in real life. Anyway, moving on up here to our actual dock area, we've added some cargo up here. So we have some chests, some crafting tables, some hay bales. Uh, we have a pumpkin. We might actually add more pumpkins and hay bales over here since our farming area is right over there. Uh, just to have a little import export economy type thing going on here. Uh, looking up here at our fountain, you can see we've uh, dressed this up just a little bit. We put our hedges in here that we were talking about earlier, and we're going to put like a road that goes around this thing and goes into our business district. It's just that we don't know what the road's actually going to look like yet so we're not getting around to that quite yet uh, we have our other little dock area that goes that way that's for our smaller vessels and we have our main dock area that will go to the flying wolfman right up this way and we finally got easy access to get onto this ship now we can walk the plank instead of having to like pop up out of the water and teleport into a boat so that's in handy if we ever want to get anything out of our storage room down there or if we ever want to come in here and do a little bit of afk fishing that's going to be nice and uh well i guess that's that's just about everything yeah we covered it all um can we get a good view of it from up there i'm hoping let's go ahead and climb and see if we can see what all there is to see <laughs> from up here at the crow's nest so if i can hop up here with my jump boost yeah I'm actually really liking this. I'm digging this. I think this ended up looking pretty cool. This is a cool little dock area. I'm happy with it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And there is plenty more to come in this area in the future, but that is uh, kind of changing camera angles on you a little bit. <laughs> but that is all the time I have for today. So if you guys did enjoy it, feel free to hit that little thumbs up button. That would mean a whole lot to me. And if you want to see more, please remember to subscribe. Uh, but as always, I just want to thank you guys for hanging out with me today. I deeply, deeply appreciate it. And until next time, I am Lobo, and I will see you guys later. <laughs>